you guys have seen me use this in a couple of rooms in my house to refinish the floors, but today I am going to show the younger generation how to do it, and that's coming up. All right, this is Amanda, and this is her grandfather's house. It's an apartment in her grandfather's house, and she's gonna be living in it and coming in May. And uh, so we're doing some work on it, and one of the things we wanna do is refinish these floors. So the first thing we're gonna do is vacuum. Now the floor's not in real bad shape. I mean, it's not a, it's not a good floor by any stretch of the imagination. You could see a little bit of a shine on it, but it's dull. And so this is a perfect, perfect floor to put down that Minwax hardwood floor reviver. Now you can get this stuff at your big box stores like Home Depot, but they have it in the high gloss there. This is the low gloss and I prefer the low gloss. I buy this on Amazon and I'll put a link to it down in the video description below. Okay, now that the floor is vacuumed, it is time to wash it. And we're gonna use that floor scrubber thingy over there. Now what we need to do, uh, let's see. This is the side that the, the stuff goes in. You're gonna take that. And this is the stuff. That's it. Let's go fill it up. Okay, take the little cap, that one there, and in there, there's a little fill line, mm -hmm. and you just want to fill that up to that fill line. Okay. And pour that in there, and then we'll top it off with water, we'll be good to go. Okay. All right, just pop that back in the side, and we are good to go. All right, let me give you a little tutorial here. So, you've got... This trigger up the top is what lets the liquid out the bottom. And this little switch right here has wash and dry. When you put it in wash, that makes the brushes go down on the ground. And so they're scrubbing the floor and you squeeze the trigger and the juice comes out and that way you can scrub the floor. And then you flip this and the brushes pick up and it just squeezes the floor to suck up all the the dirty water on the other side. You'll see it get really dirty. Looks good. All right, so let's take a look at the dirty water. Now this comes out like this. Ew. Is that gross or what? Yeah, this is gross. And you know what, if you did it again, it'd probably be dirty still. <laughs> but that's all right. We'll just do it once. It's good enough. Mm -hmm. So this is the applicator that you're gonna use to put the finish on. And the most important thing, and I've used this one before and I rinse it out really good, but the most important thing you're gonna do is you're gonna actually wet it first. So let's okay. take that to the sink. And then we're gonna pat it dry with paper towels. Now we have two bottles of this because we have a lot of floors to do, but this one is one that I had used for my bedroom. So we'll use that one first. Well, let's go. You do want a painting stick so that you're not uh, bending over. Just put that in. And we're losing light, but that's all right. Now you can see this has a squirt bottle right in it. It even whistles. So all you have to do, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a shake, but not really, I don't want any bubbles in it. And then you just squeeze it out in a bit of a four by four. And then you just take that with the grain, you're just gonna spread it out. And this floor is really dry. So you may need to add more. If you do, that's fine. And with the window behind you like that, or in front of you, I should say, you'll be able to see any spots you missed. Mm -hmm. But you're doing it nice and thorough. You're an expert painter, so. And you want 
to try and keep a wet edge. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is always put it down like where you left off. And it's okay to go into what you did before, but sometimes you might need to pick up the pad and put it down again mm -hmm. and pull it towards you when you're, uh, yeah, that's it. That's okay. So what'd you think? It was pretty easy. It wasn't bad at all. No, right? No. So there you go. Minwax hardwood floor reviver. Easy enough for a college kid to do. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.